In this video tutorial, you'll learn how to undo redo changes in Elementor. So, let's get started. For that, let's move to the page editor. I'm already in the page editor, but if you need help editing a page with Elementor, then we have a video where you can learn that as well. I'll link it in the description below, or you can also click on the eye icon on the top right corner of your screen to view the video. Now, let me make some changes to the page to show you how you can undo and redo your actions in Elementor. For example, let me add a text here, and to undo it, you can press Ctrl Z. To redo, you can press Ctrl Shift Z like this. Elementor also provides us with the history option, which you can configure by clicking on this icon here. By clicking on it, it'll display the action panel. This panel locks each and every action, and one can trace all the steps. You can simply go to each of these steps until you reached the one you want. Each listed action includes the section column or name of the widget that was affected. It also includes a reference for whether the action was for editing or adding. If you want to go even further back, you can switch to the Revisions tab to browse through earlier saved versions of your design. Once everything is in place, you can simply update the changes. And this is how you can undo or redo changes in Elementor. That's it for today's video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button. If you're new to our channel, hit the subscribe button and tap the bell icon so that you don't miss any of our future videos. Thanks for watching. We'll see you at the next one.